Oh, what, Maloney and... Oh, yeah, uh, we didn't ruins. see I can definitely see Maloney getting spiked. I mean, he shouldn't have <laughs> enough Falcon experience to have that not happen, but... Hot and ready, man. You're slacking. <laughs> I'm calling you out. You're bad. Money match me. He will, too. I know. But then he'll say that he has to leave in, like, five minutes. Make me all pressured and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I can never, like, I always, <laughs> like, I get bodied by, I don't get bodied by Hot and Ready, but I have a losing record against him because I can never, like, like, stay focused and, and like, not play, like, silly against him. But that's just my Johns. No, that's, that's honestly true. Let's be honest. Yeah. He is, he's too goofy to take seriously. When I tell him that, he's like, oh, you're just Johnning. <laughs> and, and, and that just must be more on tell. It's the same thing. <laughs> oh. Uh. Miss you hot and ready. Yeah, but <laughs> this is definitely an explosive matchup because Captain Falcon just runs right in, and uh, Cloud either has to space him out or get juggled. And right. It's nice to see that uh, Maloney's not taking the Nero approach in this one and actually making it like a DBZ fight. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to take the Nero approach against Captain Falcon in this matchup because he's just faster than you. He can just run in on you. One of the few characters that can, like, just, man, that, that up air at the ledge. Like, Maloney always, like, gets up with the ledge from that if if the opponent leaves themselves vulnerable at all to it. Wow. Okay, oh. Maloney. Going a little too deep for that. You I, know, if he loses this, then th that, that just That's going to make more. it even messier. Yeah, it's going to make it even messier. Uh, I feel like he kind of wasted his limit over there. I feel like he could have just actually grabbed the ledge instead of flipping to it with uh, his up B. Yeah, I know we saw earlier like Maloney was kind of like looking for like some silly stuff with his falling up air combos, but he probably shouldn't take uh, runes lightly here. He did get the gimp. Unfortunately, going for that extra back air kind of cost him his limit. Hey, man, you got to do what you got to do, I suppose. Ooh, nice power shield. Being able to punish Cloud's uh, like up air into you, that's definitely a, a key part of the Cloud matchup. I just like how Runes isn't really letting Maloney get away with any sort of pressure. Yeah, yeah, he's staying in his face and uh, he's punishing him when he does like try to go for something and it misses. I guess that's just something that Captain Falcon can do. Oh wow, the perfect pivot up tilt out of the down throw? Was that? I'm gonna have to ask him if that yeah, was that real. Cause that was that was something else. That was really, oh. That was also something else. Not even a uh, limit could save him from that. This is a uh, yeah. This pool's looking hell sketch right now. Yeah, it's definitely because yeah. He took a game. Even if Maloney wins this set, then then that's gonna factor into the seating. So what I'm looking at right now is top five could potentially all be toss ups. Yeah. Because from what I heard uh, at the last breakout, Giddy attended. He got first seed. He's fifth right now, projected. Who's Giddy play. Uh, I'm not Roy. Wow. He I'm, is one of our undercover Roy's. I have never heard of Giddy before today. And Roy even. Wow. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. All right, but uh, Maloney going to his hometown of Dreamland. Uh, he loves this stage, of course. With some good music, too. I appreciate oh, yeah. this. Yeah. So I'm just going to assume that Battlefield was banned and he just went to Battlefield Junior. Yeah, that or, uh, I mean, he probably should have banned Dreamland before Battlefield just because uh, Maloney really loves the stage. It's so easy for him to kill off the top with uh, with all of Cloud's, like, killing off the top moves. And, of course, the tri-platform so good for him. And the pressure, like, from these up airs on those platforms... You can that Oh, he almost got pineapple. That was well. In a sense, he kind of did get pineapple because he had to waste his limit, and he didn't have to if he hadn't have, like bumped his head. Yeah, but most people actually don't get to come back from that. But Cloud, it's one of the fortunate ones. Ooh. Not gonna do it. That was okay. Oh no, what? tech! Oh, no wow. tech! This is really bad for Maloney. I, I really liked what he was going for there, though. Uh, at least what I thought he was going there. You know, grab the ledge and then uh, try to cover his get up option if that makes any sort of sense oh he's got to watch out there okay it's always scary when you're facing uh, a captain falcon standing next to the ledge because you could get spiked you could just get jabbed 
Yeah, this is spelling a lot of trouble for Maloney. If he missteps even once near the ledge, he could just lose his stock. Yeah, spacing back here is here. Be this, extra careful. It's kind of crazy because, you know, within the first, you know, min, minute and a half, Maloney had so much stage control that, you know, uh, Runes couldn't even land. Yeah. And he's, ooh, okay, the down tilt catching him. Okay, the blade beam's going to take Runes' first stock. Clean. Maloney getting himself back in this, but he's going to have to build up a lot of percent. I mean, only 67% on Maloney, but it's... Oh, no! And Runes... Oh, no. Oh, no. Rip this pool, man. Wow. Well...